What's up everyone? Greetings from Montreal, Canada. And Juan Carlos and I are here. It happens to be June 14th. Yep, it's my birthday. It is. Wow. <laughs> anyway, we are here in Montreal and directly behind us is what's called the Gay Village. And as you can see, there's all these cute little uh, balls that go all the way down the street and they sort of form the rainbow. Uh, we're gonna go explore this little gay village and take you along with us. How's that sound? Good. It's a little chilly out today and windy too. So come with us, everyone. And as everyone knows, I'm a big fan of street art. So here in the gay village in Montreal, there's quite a bit of it. One of the cool things about the village is that as you walk along the streets here, amongst all the shops, you'll also find a number of great little restaurants, uh, boutiques, cafes, etc. And in the summer months, they put out outside tables, which is great. Uh, there happens to be a restaurant directly behind me here right there and that is called Cora and this place is only open for breakfast and lunch but it is fantastic so we highly recommend you check it out and right next door is another restaurant that we had dinner at the first night called St. Hubert the food is great uh, they specialize in chicken and ribs and a few other dishes so check that place out too Juan Carlos do you agree Are you? he agrees it was very good, <laughs> it was very good. So we're going to continue on our stroll. There's an art exhibit over here with a photographer that I want to show you guys. It looks pretty cool. And now we are in this photography exhibit, which is right here in the heart of the village. And right now they have an exhibit going on. It's the summer of 2019. Uh, and there is a magazine called Toilet Paper. That is the name of it right there behind me uh, that features pop art. Uh, and it was created by a couple of different artists, one famous photographer as well as another visual artist. So we're going to take you around and show you. I'll give you a little more information at the end. Okay everyone, so we just finished our little tour here of the Toilet Paper Magazine Photography Exhibit. Juan Carlos, what are your impressions? I like it. Uh, I think it's pretty cool that you know they have these kind of exhibitions just open to right. the public. And uh, there's some, because it's pop art, some are like really not so clear what they mean. And right. some of them are like very straight straightforward. Yeah, and I think that's pretty much the cool thing about pop art is that every single person that looks at the art is going to see what they want to see in it. And that's pretty much with any visual art. So as it may mean something to you, it might mean something completely different to another person. So that's pretty cool. And they're definitely evoking images. Uh, the composition is great. The color is great. It's definitely pops. Mm -hmm. Thus, they call it pop art. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, I think it's really, really awesome that in Montreal, you can have something like this right out in the public and uh, you just walk up and see it. I'm not so sure how long the exhibition is going to be here, but if you happen to be here right now, it's June of 2019. Check it out. Yep. All right. Continuing our tour here of the village. So guess what? Uh, for the toilet paper exhibit, I found this directly behind me. 
And if you look right up here on the sign, it has the dates. So it's been on display since May 2nd, and it'll go on display all the way through September 23rd of this year. So if you're here, you have until September 23rd to check out the really cool exhibition. All right, everyone, so again, we're here in the village, and uh, it is daytime, it's the middle of the afternoon. Uh, but directly behind me is uh, a bar called Mato, which is a, basically a cabaret. And in this particular bar, you can find drag queens performing at night and cabaret acts, which is really cool. And then just a little bit over here is Campus, which is one of the very famous uh, male strip clubs here in Montreal. And the interesting thing about the strip clubs here in Montreal is that the dancers go 100% totally nude. That's a little different than what you see in the United States. And folks, directly behind me is Stock Bar, which is the other male strip club here in Montreal. And again, dancers completely nude, if you're looking for that. And then right across the street is a place called G.I. Joe, which is a sauna spa, or AKA a bathhouse. And also right here in the center of the village, you'll find a metro stop right here. And metro is the public transportation system or the subway system here in Montreal. So it's a great way to get around as well. So one of the other things I'm gonna point out, the cool thing about St. Catherine Street here in the village during the summer months is that they actually block it off to street traffic. In other words, no vehicles, only pedestrian traffic, which is pretty awesome. So you can just kind of walk freely up and down the street here. And we're gonna stop now and do what we always do, have a cafecito, a cafecito because bam, there it is, Starbucks, folks. All right, let's go have a cup of coffee. See you in a minute. And one of the other things I'll point out here in the gay village, there's a wonderful store called Preop, and it's been here for a very long time. You can pick up clothing, fetish gear, swimwear, underwear, and sex toys. So check this place out, it's pretty cool. And right here in the heart of the gay village, you'll find this wonderful little memorial park, a little area for you to sit, contemplate, and you'll see the flags behind me as well as the, uh, the ribbon. And this is in tribute to all of those brothers and sisters and people that we have lost and succumbed to the AIDS virus. We decided to stop before we go back to the hotel and have a little snack. And we're here at Shawarma Habibi. And uh, Juan Carlos is a huge fan of falafel. So we decided to get a falafel sandwich with some potatoes. And uh, he's going to open it right now. So let's check it out. And the falafel. And the falafel. What do you think? Yeah. Let me show you the inside. So yeah, right here we've got the falafel, we've got some lettuce, some tomatoes, some tzatziki hummus. wrapped inside, oh yeah, hummus, and it's wrapped inside of a pita. Here's my first bite. No onion. It's actually very, very good. Oh, yeah, we got it without onion because Juan Carlos is not a fan of onion. <laughs> but um, even without the onion, it's very good. So yeah, if you find yourself here in the village, Montreal, check out Habibi. It's pretty good. So we're gonna wrap up things here, folks, in the wonderful gay village in Montreal. And we've had a nice day exploring here. Uh, we've actually been in Montreal a couple days. And the nice thing is that our hotel is right next to this area. Oh, yes. So we've had an opportunity to come in down the street at night and partake in a couple of the restaurants. Uh, tonight we'll be actually going out and going into some of the bars. So yes, lots of options here. Uh, and what I really like about it is the pedestrian feel of it and that it's not just gay people. Even though it's the gay village, you see everybody here. And that's pretty cool. And I think I like that vibe here in Montreal in general. There's just sort of, as they would say, laissez-faire, which is just a really relaxed uh, environment. You can feel very comfortable here being yourself and not have to worry about anything. So that's pretty awesome. So with that being said, as we always say, happiness is a lifestyle. And we really appreciate you guys watching. And Juan Carlos, what do they need to do? 
subscribe. Exactly. You need to subscribe to the channel. Go ahead, do it. Smash that little subscribe button. Very easy. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the little bell icon and we'll get notifications right out to you when we upload our next video. And until next time, everybody, peace out. Ciao.